right, we're back. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and if there's one thing Rosie really enjoys about the holidays, it's all those tasty desserts. So me, on the other hand, I'm a vegan, which we've discussed, so here to cook one of her favorite Thanksgiving treats, please welcome Betty McDermott. Hi, Betty. Hi. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you again. I met Betty bowling. You know our bowling league that we sponsor? Betty was on the opposing team, and I met you at the bowling alley, and you harassed me, Betty. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, why? I was trying to make a bowler out of you. Yeah, you kept, you kept yelling at me. Yes, I, I did, and it worked. Well, you know, I did my best. And Would you, you believe an 88-year-old lady's ball she was using? I almost died when I found that out. <laughs> okay, well, here's the thing. One yeah. of the women on our team, which one is 88? Ethel. Ethel. I used her ball. And then I hear this one. Hey, O'Donnell, <laughs> pick up a real ball. What's the matter with you, you twerp? <laughs> I said, what are you doing with that ball? I said, you, it's like a pill going down there. Yeah. <laughs> you. And then you yelled at me because I was looking at the dots. Yes, you can't look at the dots until you're a pro. Yeah, I'm not a pro. <laughs> no. All right, so you told me you got a famous pineapple upside down cake? Yes, I do. What are we doing? All right, you're going to start. Uh, Drew, you can start by cracking three eggs in here. Okay. No, first we'll start with the butter. Okay, you can put great. the butter in. Okay. Uh, and then you can start by putting the butter in here. All right, how we'll much start butter melting. you use? How much? Let me a see. Lot. Is that good? Oh, you know how to make this. I, I just, I like a lot of butter myself. Yeah, okay. does it matter how much you use? No, just put it in there. And just, just put keep. it in, as Whenever much butter as you like. When it melts, start adding the brown sugar. Okay, I'll how much brown sugar, Don't Betty. burn it now. Betty, I'll do what I can. How okay. much brown sugar? <laughs> how much? I'm afraid of that. That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> Betty, how much brown sugar? Again, as just much. Keep just keep stirring until this melts. Obviously, if you want to make this, you have to know Betty personally, <laughs> because we're not giving you any of the measurements. Can I just say that right, when I got here. up here, Betty you're said, gonna, "You're gonna, we're gonna do this pie, and you're gonna do it." You're gonna That's do it. That's what I said. I was like, and "Yeah, I am." Do it now. You take this and start slowly, slowly, so we don't have it all over the audience. You know. Yeah, come on, just slowly. I, I have to tell you, I'm really, really scared right now. Okay, there you go. Okay, oh, nice. That's you good. like that? Now just yeah. go around until you get all the butter melted. Betty, okay. why are you and wearing you your start... pajamas? Well, I like to cook, you know, desserts and things. I like to wear my pajamas. So I bought, look, I brought one for each of you to wear, too. Really? So you brought so pajamas for us? Yeah, all right. Oh, tops, anyway, one for you. Okay. Hope, hope it brought from home. Why do you Thank wear you. pajama tops when you cook, <laughs> I Betty? I don't know. They're comfortable. They're comfortable. All right. <laughs> I don't, I, like do, I don't put them on to cook dinners. No, right. only Thank snacks. You. Only snacks. Okay. And, there you go, Betty. And looking at me, you know I like snacks. Yeah, you? Yeah. All right, good. Now, am I done here? Is it no, good? no, 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 no. You've no. got a long way to go. i got a long way to go. How are you doing over here? I, I feel pretty good about yeah, it, but I'm nervous about Get around, go around. You're nervous of me? No, what you think? I want to do it right. Okay, you yeah. are. <laughs> we're both insecure add, I know. <laughs> Betty, be kind Okay, to I'm going to add this slowly, so. Okay. All right, Betty, I think I'm done. No, you got to get it like caramel. Like caramel? Yeah. It's only an hour show, Betty. I don't know how <laughs> we're going to do this. Turn this up a little. All right, turn it up. All right. And I'm going to put the eggs in here. There you go. Put the eggs in. Okay. I hear you like to travel, Betty. Oh, I do. What happened in Rome? You got mugged? Grace oh, told please. me. please. Grace, when we were bowling? She told you that. Grace was nice. She lent me her arm guard, and she never yelled at me. You, on the other hand, harassed me for two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, Donald, you stink! <laughs> Aim but for you, the set of pin, you moron! That you kind of stuff. Better. Did I tell you when you got better? Yeah, you did. Did I applaud when you got a strike? Yeah, what, hey. what you said, hey. tell them the truth. Did I applaud when you got you a strike? You applauded, and you said, now you're not quite so pathetic. That's what you said. Quite did I so, say that? Yeah, you did. And I, I was laughing. That. I thought it was good, Betty. Was I drinking? No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what was wrong with the Is bowling league. Nobody no was drinking. drinking. You're right. I wanted You're to have some good beer, now, maybe yeah, some, some beer. Now you can. Some, now you can. Uh, you, exactly. you know what happened? You know what happened to me in Rome? I got mugged, and uh, I went to chase the mugger, and he took off with my pocketbook. And the manager of the hotel says, "Don't chase him. We'll get it." P.S. They never got it. I went to the police station. Yeah. And I stood in the line of about 20 other Americans who had been robbed. Wow. And waited my turn to report it. Uh huh. And then I felt very bad for myself. I had nothing, no pocketbook, no money, no yeah. nothing. So yeah. I decided to go to the Vatican with the group and light a candle, you know, and say a novena. Whatever. Yeah. And, uh, Kiss the foot of St. Peter. Anything, yeah. And while I'm standing there, somebody picks my pocket. <laughs> Honestly? Honest to God. At the Vatican? At the Vatican. At the Vatican. <laughs> That's bad. So by this time, I'm a little nutsy, so I turn around and I yell, you're too late. Your fellow countrymen beat you to it. <laughs> and as I turned around, I saw 
were nothing but nuns and priests. And I thought, oh, God, what did I do now? So then by this time, my friends dragged me out of the place. And that was my initiation to Rome. All right. I wow. thought maybe you were going to say the Pope turned around, you know. With... No, I, if I had gotten to see him, I think I would have told him, too. But I didn't. <laughs> All right. Now so then, you're ready. Pour we got that in the, there. We got the pineapple there. We got yeah. the nuts. We're pouring the caramelized. Nicely. <laughs> See? <laughs> this is how Betty harasses people she just meets. Yeah. Celebrities, nonetheless. Nicely, O'Donnell! I thought, yeah. we were, I thought we were just friends and bowling buddies. When we I didn't first know you met. Were a yeah, I'm on TV. I got my own show. Oh, You're oh, on it right now. <laughs> <laughs> now you pour the batter over and okay. we're ready to go. Pour the batter, go and, ahead. And, and I'm going to do this with a lot of TLC, Betty. Okay, so, I like, hope careful. so. Drew. This is hot here, Drew. Now I'm, I'm kind of kissing up to, like, get a good grade. You totally are. <laughs> I'm, I'm like... Sucking up to Betty, and I don't appreciate that. I'm the only one getting harassed. I'm sorry. I kind of am going on your lead. Whatever you get yelled at for, I'm kind of going, okay, I don't do that. <laughs> oh, I have a joke for you. Would you like to hear a joke? Yeah, yeah. tell us a joke, Betty. Uh, the police, this policeman stopped this car full of nuns, and he said to them, that's it, you're doing good. Thanks. Okay. Now, this is that, now, <laughs> doing very good. Now, he said, do you know you ladies were speeding? She says, oh, no, officer. We were doing the speed limit. She says, yeah. right there, it says Route 60. He says, that's the route, not the, not the speed, speed limit. limit. He said, it's 30 miles an hour. He looks in the back seat, and he sees this nun shivering in the back, and he says, did I say something to hurt her? She says, no, we just got off Route 101. <laughs> Product. Okay. She and does comedy, she does cakes. It's Betty Lake Tahoe. Go ahead. What do you That's done? my nickname because I had a sweatshirt on that night. I felt like I was an Indian, Lone Ranger, and Tonto. She had a shirt that said Lake Tahoe, and I couldn't remember everyone's name. So, like, ooh. Oh, look at this. Look what happened to your pineapples. Why do they stuck there for? <laughs> Betty. That happens. That happens? Then if it happens, you it just... happens, you just go like this. And you plunk them out. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> oh, read that. Okay. Now I got something for each of you to do. What? What do you got for us I to do? I want you to take your cakes and flip them. And if you want a copy of these recipes, please send a self-addressed stamped envelope to The Rosie O'Donnell Show, Recipes, 30 Rockefeller Plaza, Suite 800 East, New York, New York, 10112. Tell them who's up next, Betty. The next guest is somebody you're all waiting to see, Celeste. Celine Dion. <laughs> so let's go. Entering a bowling team this year, and before she left town, she caught up with him. Take a look. It's been a season of hope, a season of glory, and now it comes down to number one versus number two. The Four Queens versus the Young Souls Old Bones. Down the middle. And the Young Souls have brought in a ringer. She's nice on the screen, but on the lane, she's plain mean. I'm Rick. Her name? Rosie O'Donnell. Well, they called me in. It was the biggest night of the year, you know, and uh, they needed me. This is how they lined up. The Young Souls fought for the top spot with Adeline, Ethel, B. And in the fourth and final spot, Rosie O'Donnell. Hello, people of the league. Prepare to lose. On the other side of the lane, the current first place team, Captain Joni led the way, along with Quigley, Grace, and Brooklyn. Let's go. From the very start, the four queens displayed the expertise that got them to number one. But for young souls, their so-called ringer was rusty. Well, the girls know what I can do as a bowler. They do. You're getting better. <laughs> okay. People went nuts. I mean, they were screaming, Rosie's a bowler. You know, they were crazy. They loved me. Although the rest of the Young Souls team fought valiantly, the strike, the strike. Uh -oh. O'Donnell's performance was the lead anchor that sunk their winning hopes. Again, don't worry. On the second one, I get them all. Okay. This is my first one. You better. Well, at first, you know, my teammates were great. They were helping each other. They were helping me. It was, it was great. The young souls could only watch for so long before the frustration began to set in. 
And with O'Donnell's continued demise, old bones began to crack. The situation was grim, and things began to unravel as O'Donnell turned her attention elsewhere. Oh, hey, that's a rose. That was a bit of <laughs> That's a rosy! Did you hear what he said? All right, so I didn't have my best game, you know what? But there's no way that anyone could accuse me of not being focused. I mean, I was focused. Did you ladies eat? Did you order? No, we never order. You never eat food? I was focused on the game, OK? Uh, where are my nachos? Would somebody bring my nachos, please? You don't eat food, you don't drink beer? <laughs> I, I don't know why I bothered coming. No, I wasn't messing around. Who said that? Why would anyone say that? Ladies, got us a little snack. A little energy. Snack. Okay. I said I had a 164 average. I, I meant a 16.4. What, what's a decimal point between friends? You have correct all here. Yeah, okay, we might, all, we might all take something. <laughs> all right, so I'm not as good as I said, okay? I mean, it's comedy, right? But O'Donnell's teammates did not find the comedy in losing to the four queens. Her pink slip was inevitable. Honestly, we've already lost two games. And, and, and you know, I love having you here. Sure. Oh, you know what you gotta do? What do I gotta you do? Gotta go. oh, oh, oh. Oh. Rosie, downstairs, there's some video, video machine. machine. Yeah. You might have a good time down there. You don't mind. All right. <laughs> We caught up with the dejected O'Donnell at the Ms. Pac-Man machine. I just came out here for a little fun. It's not even near my house. It took me a good 40 minutes to drive here. And I know that those women were broken up about having to cut me because, you know, they love me. They love me as an athlete, which is how it should be. Attention to all bowlers, we'd like to announce that Rosie O'Donnell has now left the building. Yeah!